Hey everyone, welcome to Wax Pack Wisdom, where we talk baseball history through card breaks and the cards we love. My name is Jake T. O'Donnell. Today, we're opening this pack of 1975 Topps Mini. Yes, we have acquired a pack. Uh, as you've seen from other videos, we've done other 1970s card breaks, 74, 76, 77. We're going back a little bit to do this break of 1975 Topps Mini. Now, what are the mini cards? They are uh, smaller versions of the regular cards. Net Tops uh, company tried this out in 1975. They uh, sold them in just a few parts of the country just as a test out to see how they would be received. They did not uh, continue doing them after 1975. So these are a, a pretty interesting, a little bit of a rarity. Um, like I said, I was able to come across and acquire one of these packs to open on this channel. Um, very excited to do this 1975 cincinnati reds beat the boston red sox in the world series in this set there are numerous significant rookie cards including george brett robin yount jim rice gary carter fred lynn keith hernandez there's also obviously your normal array of hall of famers some interesting hank aaron cards a year after he broke uh at the time broke the the home run record set by babe ruth so I just want to get right into this, um, and we'll see what we get. Again, this is a mini set. It's not the normal size. The, the cards are maybe not considered as valuable, but they are still valuable uh, all the same. All right, so let's get into this. The gum, we'll see, kind of stuck to the back of someone's card back there. We'll check that out, check that out later. But the first card is Frank Tanana, who had a long career in the major leagues. Uh, this is an, a Topps All-Star Rookie card, as you can tell. Uh, the cut is off a little bit, but still a really nice card. Frank Tanana pitched for a very long time in the major leagues. Um, I would say probably upwards of 20 years with the Angels, also with the Tigers. He did briefly pitch with the Red Sox as well. Um, and uh, just a, a talented, long-term, durable starting pitcher. Um, so there you go. That's a that's a nice, nice Frank Tanana card at this point early in his career with the Angels. Okay. Next up is Diego Sigi. Diego Sigi uh, is the father of David Sigi, who ended up being a big leaguer. Uh, Diego Sigi was a um, was a pitcher. David Sigi was a hitter. Uh, at this point, he was with the Red Sox. I don't know how much of the '75 season he spent with them. Um, one of the the names that you'll notice in here for teams he played for were the Pilots, and um, I actually have his 1969 uh, Tops card. Diego Sigi's card in a, in my collection. We'll talk about it in my collection video at some point. The Seattle Pilots were the precursor to the Milwaukee Brewers. They only spent one year in Seattle as the Pilots, and then they moved to Milwaukee. And then, of course, eventually, late 70s, the Mariners come in to Seattle. So anyway, Diego Sigi, good card. Uh, Ed Cranepool was a member of the very good Mets teams of the, uh, I think, the late 60s. Yeah, I mean, a long time Met. Um, the late 60s, he was on the 69 Mets that won the World Series. Um, 74 Mets, they, or sorry, 73, they were in the World Series. They lost to the, um, lost to the, uh, the A's. And Crane Pool, long time uh, outfielder, later first baseman as well. Uh, 62 Mets, of course, that was the first year of the Mets. He was an original Met. Uh, the Mets were very bad that year, <laughs> but it only took them you know, six, seven years before they were uh, on top of the world with Tom Seaver and Nolan Ryan and um, everyone else that they had. So there you go. Uh, all right. Sonny Siebert. Um, I think he pitched for a long time. Yeah, he was with the Indians in the 60s. Also, yes, with the Red Sox as well. That's right. And uh, traded to the Padres from the... Um, looks like he was with the from the from uh, traded to the Padres. So this could almost qualify as a traded card. You kind of see that the color scheme more matches for the the Padres for Sonny Siebert. Anyway, good pitcher for a long time. <coughs> All right. We have um, here the 75 top set has some of these sort of 25 years of, of excuse me, of top baseball cards. I have one that I think is either from 1966 or 67. It was the year that I think the, the MVPs were Frank Robinson and uh, Roberto Clemente. So this is a cool one of... Um, 1955 most valuable players, Yogi Berra and Roy Campanella, uh, two of the greatest catchers of all time. 
and you kind of see uh, why it was a great year for both guys. And 1955, the Dodgers won the World Series that year. They beat the Yankees. It was the first time they ever won the World Series. Campanella was a huge part of that. And Yogi Berra, of course. Two of, again, two of the greatest catchers of all time here. All right. Um, Richie Zisk. Good Pirates teams. I think he was around um, for some of those good Pirates years. Can't say I know a ton about Richie Zisk. Um, but, yeah. That's, uh, that's him. Mike Phillips. It's a nice card. Um, for Mike Phillips. Mike Cuellar was one of the great pitchers of the 60s and into the early 70s for the Orioles. Orioles had uh, great years, um, and Cuellar was a huge part of that. Um, I think it was the year that they won the World Series. And this is back, you know, being a 20-game winner was a big deal. Um, I think it was 70. It's one of those years in there where the, they had, like, four guys that all won 20 games. They were just an uh, absolute juggernaut. It was Cuellar. It was Dave McNally. It was uh, Jim Palmer. And I think the other one was Pat Dodson. But anyway, Mike Cuellar was uh, um, just a spectacular um, spectacular left-handed pitcher in the uh, Puerto Rican uh, spectacular pitcher for many years in the, uh, in the American League. Could see also he was yeah he was in the uh, he was in the National League as well started with the Astros or well, the Reds which that's interesting to note that he pitched in 1959 for a couple games for the Reds interesting didn't know that all right uh, Dave Goltz um, don't really know anything about Dave Goltz but it's a sharp card these cards are all pretty sharp I gotta say um, and then the last card that had the gum on it was <laughs> poor uh, poor Phil Roof but uh, yeah, so so we didn't get really any uh, big time stars in this pack of uh, seventy five tops mini. Some some nice players, some good players. Um, I would say, let's go with the uh, the fifty five most valuable players card. It's a good one. All right, so um, we hope you enjoyed this uh, this pack of nineteen uh, seventy five tops mini. Um, please uh, follow us on all of our social media channels. Uh, the links are below. There's also a link to our uh, list of nonprofits and charities that you can check out. Um, if you like this video, leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. Let us know if there's uh, if you have any color to add about any of the players in this pack. Um, who's the best player you ever pulled? Did you ever? Do you have any memories of the Topps mini sets from the 1970s? Um, let us know. Let us know what you think. And um, yeah, please uh, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Wax Pack Wisdom. We have uh, lots of great content coming out. We've, we've ripped other packs from the 70s as well. Um, let us know what you think. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. And we uh, we love to talk baseball. We love to talk baseball cards and history and all of that stuff. So um, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on Wax Pack Wisdom. Take care.